I can put my finger on where those uh, names uh, originated. So probably they didn't change them. Now, why should we continue naming these, uh, our own institutions with foreign names? Even the British who, who introduced these names to some of these institutions, they didn't use them for their military institutions. Back home. I, I've lived in the UK for quite some time. I never heard of uh, a military institution in the UK bearing a uh, foreign name. They would name it after one of their generals or Wellington or, or whatever, or one of their dukes or whatever. So why do we have to continue to, to, to hang on to this uh, colonial past when we have people who deserve, who deserve to be memorialized? I spoke about Kotuka. Kotuka International Airport was named after him simply because he was killed in the vicinity of, vicinity, vicinity of what uh, uh, the airport is now. Okay. That's why they named him Kotuka okay. International Airport. You had uh, uh, Bawa who was uh, the army commander then, um, uh, Flags House, during the 1966 coup. He was trying to quell, sup suppress the, um, the coup attempt, and he died in the pursuit of uh, his, uh, his duty. Okay. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm told that he's been, he's been honored, his name has been bestowed on some institution, I have to find out myself, but uh, um, I think we need, we need to rethink the way we treat uh, some of our um, uh, uh, national figures. Okay. Um, it will go a long way to encourage people to uh, uh, put the nation, the, the interest of the nation at heart. Okay. Now, talking about indiscipline, uh, let me expand on it a bit. We talked about the Committee for the De Defense of the Revolution, yeah. right? Now they went about carrying out their own operations and, and arresting people and, and seizing people's cars and, 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 and doing all sorts of things. It never stopped. It continued. Now, imagine Rawlings is being powerful for how for it was in power for, for PNDC um, uh, government lasted for until. Um, the elections in to, to, um, which uh, brought uh, Kufo. Yes. So that would have been 2000. 2000. So now, 1982 to 2000. Okay? How many years? It's actually almost 20 years. 20 years. Now you had people, committees, and people who belong to this uh, 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 party running around doing their own thing. Now, 20 years of continued. Uh, in discipline, it, it goes a long way to, to it, 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 it acts like uh, a cancer. Okay. Now, mind, mind you, there were people who were growing up at that time. Okay. So what, what lessons were they teaching them? That they, 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 they could uh, act with impunity, they could uh, 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 throw away the norms of society and do, do what they like. Mm -hmm. And for me, it has, it has, it has continued until, until today. Where you have people simply uh, knowing what they're not supposed, knowing they're not supposed to do certain things by doing it. It wasn't in my time. No one was growing up. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. Before even on the eve of June Fourth, we still had discipline. We still had order in society. It all disappeared after June Fourth in 1982. Wow! Thank you so much, sir. Okay. I appreciate your time, sir. Okay. He will take the microphone for